Child Protective Services that I mentioned a little while ago. In Orange County last year, they had um, a bust for these traffickers. They got 105 people, uh, victims of trafficking, human trafficking. 65 of those, 65% of those victims were wards of Child Protective Services. Not only were they wards of Child Protective Services, but check this out. They were never reported missing. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So maybe they were literally sold by well, people within Child Protective Services. Well, what we're finding now is this trafficking is a lot bigger and a lot more involved mm -hmm. politically mm -hmm. than we care to look at or the media won't cover. Mm -hmm. Everybody's afraid because there's some real big heavy hitters that are very influential that are involved. And the acquisition of the children was for sex, sexual purposes? Absolutely. Um, children are sold, and there have been cases, children are sold up to 75 times in one day. One day, 75 different Johns abuse this child. Right. It's making the child trafficking industry, or human trafficking, I should say, industry right now makes more money than the illegal drug trade and illegal arms, arms trade combined. Wow. Combined. So That's children exciting. are definitely a commodity. They're a commodity to make money. Mm -hmm. Last year I had a case where um, a lovely young girl was her single mom, um, mom's a great Italian woman, lives in Burbank. And um, she was having some problems with her daughter. Her daughter started hanging out with the wrong, you know, crowd. Good girl, though. Just, you know, needed to be pulled back in. in the yeah. She ended up robbing from Paris Hilton's house like the bling ring was Exactly. There. Oh, I'm, yeah, that's right. So um, mom calls a friend at the police department. She says, you know, I'd like to put a little scare. I want to do something. I want to make sure she's okay. And, you know, he says, you know, call Child Protective Services. She says, okay, I'll try it. She called Child Protective Services. They said, you know, we need to take her and, you know, help out here. They put this child, gorgeous, I mean, she looks like a model, 16 years old, 15 at the time, in this group home. The mom goes to visit her, it was near the holidays, goes to visit her, she's, she feels like, all right, she's gonna learn her lesson. She'll never mess up again. This is a hardcore lesson. Her daughter's gone. Her daughter and three other beautiful young girls. Now you have to bear in mind, Sean, that the gates around this group home locally are high, they're too high, and they are locked, and they're electronic. You are not getting out. Yeah. And there's a full staff. Well, the staff says, gee, we were short-staffed, and we just don't know how this gate could open. This mother daily for one, over one year, posted, I mean, she came on my show, she, she did not stop looking for her daughter. Her daughter is home, we found, she found her through the efforts of a, a combined community effort. Mm -hmm. um, and she is still healing. She was passed on to more people. She was so abused, she was locked up, she was a prisoner. And it was basically and she it was sold to a sex, a sex Her like, and thing. three others from a state-run group home. And how did the gates get open? Well, it was near the holidays and they just don't have an answer. Senator, Senator, uh, Bell up in Northern California, um, he's a big advocate on, you know, the foster care system. And um, he's been pushing for these foster children to have a little more protection, okay? Um, a colleague of mine that runs an organization called the Humanitarian Alliance, what she found out is 48 hours after a child is aged out, meaning they're 18, and they leave their foster homes, within 48 hours, 60 to 75% of them are captured. How can that be? 48 hours. Definitely there's an insider. Captured, captured in the sense of? Child trafficking. Trafficking. Uh, not child anymore. Right. Human trafficking. 